Hi guys, I want to share with you, with you review for Dr. Bulmur. This is product that I purchased from the face shop. This is a foaming cleanser, Neto and Muson. Actually, I don't have any intention to make this review when I'm receiving the product, but I really, really, really like it. I really enjoy using this product. That's why I want to share with you the review. And this has to be the gentle, slightly acidic foaming gel cleanser with a pH similar to that of the skin to the of the skin barrier and it's mild on the skin okay the translation is a bit confusing but it's said to be uh, in a category not clarifying but it's more to help the skin barrier dairy gentle moisturizing solution skins blah 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 it says to be okay it just has to be very mild and comfortable on the skin which is it is I have a really dry sensitive skin most of the is a face forming product like this it's a cleanser and it's soapy in a terms that you know you can lather it up i cannot really use it but this one i really can use it says for dry delicate skin it's really true i really love this product that's why i want to share with you on my youtube which not something that i actually plan but it is that good the product itself comes in a gel form this is the gel. It's slightly milky, clear gel. So I just have a milky cloudy. And I just mix it up with water, like this. And then it will bubbles up. It will create a light foaming, not foaming lah, letters and bubbles. So it's still comfortable because a lot of products for sensitive skins, they're not really bubbles up. So for you who are addicted to bubbles, you can be so happy because this product do bubble up. I don't know what you can see or not. The bubbles are tiny, but they do bubbles up. They do bubbles up a lot. Like a normal any other uh, foaming product that bubbles up. Because a lot of them contain detergents, which will bubble up like abundantly. This one still contain the sodium lauryl sulfate. But I don't know why. It's still, still gentle on my skin. I'm very comfortable. I can even let my teens use it. I have a teenager daughter. They have, of course, her skin is more delicate than mine. Should be. Okay. They're still young, right? But in, I still yeah, let them use it because this product is really gentle. It's very comfortable. And I just rinse everything off. And then it's really clean. Usually, a uh, product for sensitive skin, the one that doesn't light up, when you apply on the skin and then you massage and then you work it too, and then you rinse it off and then you use some micellar water or any other uh, for double cleansing and then you still see there's a lot of things left behind, but this one is pretty clean. So it's comfortable, right? Definitely not to be used for cleaning makeup, so you clean your makeup first, like a makeup remover, and then use this one as a double cleanser. And I have the comfort of the comfort that it gives on my skin, especially especially on the upper cheeks area because something feels tight and it feels pulled but this one is not. Like I'm using it every day, twice a day and it's fine. I'm using it with warm water, cold water, no problem at all. But I'm never using it with the freezing or maybe cold water, maybe just like a bit warm or maybe on a room temperature water is fine. It doesn't need to be using a warm water or something like that, just any room temperature water will do. And it's really really nice and doesn't have any distinct smell or scent that I feel or I've noticed. But it's nothing. It does have a slight, not perfume, like it does have a bit of scent. Maybe they do better perfume. Yeah, they do better perfume. There's a five ones here. But it's still fine. Usually I'm pretty much, I'm not going to say allergic to five ones, but. They do make my skin react in a way that I don't really like, like that now. So maybe a uh, slightly irritation and an uncomfortable feeling and it's and sort of like being pulled sting or something like that. But this one is not. So I really recommend you to try this one. It's really good. And it's that good. That's why I'm sharing with you. Do try it. It's perfect for dry and delicate skin, just like it is. I'm not really a fan of a lot of Korean products, mostly for the mass brand, because 
most of them not really good. More of them like like a so-so, like yeah, from pan you get like a six and a half, a seven. It's not that bad, but it's not really that good. But this one is really good. I give it a nine out of ten. So do try it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye.